person for booking. Pardon. Budaka, this one. We want to believe as a party that uh, we are in the cooperation with the National Resistance Movement, the NRM, through our cooperation agreement, but we remain an entity as a democratic party. And there are things we don't agree. We will continue advising, but we believe that the government should have a proper position. We have institutions, the IGG and several institutions, Auditor General and all those, that are around to try to curb the question or the cancer of corruption. But uh, I think the people that are working within these entities are trying to continue to define the NRM with corruption. And it is going to be very difficult. I think there are people that are just tired as President Seven, and they think he should leave. So corruption has become the order of the day. So when you define Uganda, the next thing you do a definition for is corruption. It's like the brother or sister of Uganda it is corruption. And I know that uh, our friends in the media are doing a very good job. But also they determine how the nation will perceive whatever is going on. The overall thing, and we want to condemn with the strongest uh, thing, that all of this week we've been talking about corruption and the Karamoja thing, which is, uh, I, I think we are waiting to see what the president will do with this question, because at the end of the day, this thing is tackling people that are within his own house. It's like uh, when Porsche applies stolen from a village, and all rise when they trace the footsteps, then they are entering into the reverend's house. Uh, what are you going to say? It means the person that is, uh, the person that has stolen all that is maybe a person from the house of the reverend. What am I trying to say is that uh, we are waiting for what President Seven will do. I know that Parliament and the other institutions are doing their job, but what is the President going to do? And if Parliament goes ahead to do their job, I have seen some members of Parliament mobilizing the censure motion. And what if they do a censure? What will happen? We just had a censure and we still continue seeing the same minister walking to Parliament and taking the front seat, the front bench as a minister. So I, I think a lot of these things are putting our country at a test. And we are waiting to see what that will be. But the honest thing will be a person to step aside and pave way for proper investigation. And then if the investigations are complete, then we will determine if you're innocent, you resume your office, the duties. Because a lot of these ministries have, uh, for instance, that is under the OPM, and there are several ministers under the OPM that can carry on these duties. So the question and impunity that we are seeing is something that uh, I think the regime and the president as a fountain of honor must come up specifically to pronounce himself on, on this matter. The, the leadership has begun. I told you weekend when Ginger